Well, hey guys, welcome back. And sorry you missed it. But for some reason, after I filmed almost this entire unboxing, my camera said memory card error. And it totally eliminated the entire video. So, sorry, you didn't get to see me take this popcorn wagon out of its 1998 plastic. And you didn't get to see me open the bags and you didn't get to see me talk about why does this thing have plastic front tires when the box art clearly shows that it has rubber front tires and on and on and on and show you some eBay prices of this kit the astronomical MPC that this started out as uh, kits up upward of $350 or the uh, eBay prices of the AMT kit that's somewhere around 50 uh, sometimes I've seen them closer to a hundred and only a couple on eBay. So like I say, you missed all of it and it's not your fault at all. It's the cameras. It's actually, I guess the memory card's fault and it might even do it again. So you might not even ever see this video. So after I opened and unboxed, unbagged all this darn popcorn wagon, I'm already frustrated with the popcorn wagon. It had a price tag on the on the the wrapper for nine dollars and forty nine cent from Bartell Drugs. And there's my phone ringing, so I'll be right back. That's my mom. I better answer this one. All right. Well, that phone call was about three hours ago, and uh, about. 70 miles <laughs> my mom has a rental house in Waycross Georgia which is about 25 miles from here but the house is on the other side of Waycross so a good 30 miles so at least 30 miles but anyway I had to go over there and work on the air condition for her for her uh, renter what like a good son would do for for their mom anyway got it all fixed all right back Okay, so yeah, like I said, the, the original video of this totally crashed. And I'm hoping that don't it doesn't happen again. It, it has not been something that happens very often. What I was saying to begin with, and not to repeat myself, but the MPC version, which was the original version of the popcorn wagon, had rubber tires for the front. And you can see here in this box art, that that has rubber tires and they're quite wide and here a more close-up view you can see the tires are quite wide and they've been sanded and the box art looks awful um, but anyway and what's weird is you have gold on the engine but yet your engine parts are all chrome okay and then you have this tree of gold plastic that uh for all the other stuff all this would have to be painted it's uh it's starting to turn anyway it's weird it's cut so it had a gold plating on it. i was thinking it was just gold because you can see right here some of the heat stained the gold is needing to be replated anyway front tires it's got the rear tires which are quite large because this is a 120th scale I don't remember what and all I've already said. Three hours has been quite a while. Anyway, you got the tires here. Rear, rear tires, nice rubber tires. Actually look pretty decent, Firestones. And then I was looking for the rear tire, or the front tires. I'm like, where are they? Look through everything. I'm like, there ain't no dang front tires. Did they forget it? And then I saw this tree here. And I'm like, no, no, surely not. And I got to looking and uh, yeah, there's front tires right there. Little teeny skinnies. What are they thinking? It does look like that it will fit the front. These are beautiful chrome wheels. I mean, top-notch beautiful chrome wheels. I will not replate these. Those things are awesome. But, and the valve covers. And again, I can't remember. I've already filmed this one time, so I don't, I don't think I've shown you on the second video. But Elderbrock valve covers, very nice Elderbrock valve covers. Got the axles and everything. Your blower, it's all chromed up. Um, 
yeah, I was looking at the uh, wheels. That's what I was going to say. And they're not very wide. So it does look like to me that those plastic skinnies will fit on there. However, on, let me get my, my, my camera, my, uh, see if it's still pulled up. Yeah. So I had one of these pulled up last video or the first attempt. Um, this is the MPC version. Very expensive. But there uh, was obviously rubber tires. Check it out. I mean, unless they painted some tires. But what you don't notice in this is this tree right here. My guess is um, AMT, when they got MPC, or Ertl got MPC, I think that's how that worked. They probably had a, the mold got damaged or something for the front tire, so they decided, well, hey, we can spend like five minutes and make a new mold for some front tires, but they'll be plastic. Oh, go ahead, George. That'll be fine. Okay. Five minutes later, they made this simple little tree of plastic tires. Whatever. Okay. The only thing is, is it would, if you had, um, you'd have to paint these. To match these because that's the only way you'd get them to match like to me a rubber black but you'd have to paint the darn rubber tires but anyway yeah so that was a real mystery when i opened this up because it just didn't make any sense one other thing that i noticed was the headers so i don't know what kind of engines in this thing but it ain't a small block chevy or at least the headers aren't for a small block chevy let's see no there's no information on there about the popcorn wagon but it, um, I'm so confused doing all this twice. Here's the, here's the big 20th scale engine and transmission, which is quite large, which is cool. Um, but, and let's see, some of you guys are very up to date on how many bolts the, where are the darn valve covers? There they are. How many bolts a Chevy small block valve cover? This has four. One, two, three, four, four bolts here. So I don't know if that's Chevy small block or is it big block Chevy? It doesn't look like big block Chevy valve covers, but I do know that this arrangement of header placement, these two inners should have been right together to be a small block. I don't know what it is. No clue. This thing does have two blowers. So it's got, looks like, this is the lower, <laughs> this is going to rhyme. This is the lower lower blower right here. And then this is the upper blower. And then the blower belt, you see it's a double blower belt. So it's got two. Yep. And uh, chrome steering wheel. Gas pedal. Pretty cool gas pedal. I like that. Got your gauges right there. And it's like a tank. Must be a, uh, there are some parts in here that make up the, like, kettle for the kettle corn. It's, it's gold, actually, so it would be right here. Well, no, it's not. Where is it? What a round, where is the round tumbler? Maybe I'm looking at it. Oh, that is it right there. Okay, so it's like an oven and it got the tumbler on top of it. Okay so cheesy in this gold this would all have to be redone maybe in chrome instead of gold maybe just make it all chrome here's your rear rear end off the tree the cool body i will give them credit that's cool right there one piece c cab type that's a pretty pretty uh masterful way to make a one piece because a lot of times this stuff would have had a roof that would come off would not have been like a single piece but that's that's really cool and it's got that uh old buttoned thick like a padded sail looking uh stuff along with the the 1960s for sure 1960s style seats looks like it should be on a chopper got two of those i hope those are just one another's just a single seat i didn't realize that it's just a single seater so you, your help has to ride on the uh, running board slash headers until their shoes melt until you get to the to the uh, place to sell your popcorn. Here are the 
decals. Quite nice. Don't look bad at all. This is 1998. Again, I don't remember if I already said that or not. This kit is from 98. Looks like it's from 98, right? Uh, yep, 1998. Ertl Company Incorporated. And it also had a few little things in it, like this. AMT 50 years of 1948 to 98. And it had some really cool 90s stuff. I'd like to have that hat. If anybody, any of you guys have that hat, I'd like to get it off of you. <laughs> and uh, this cool jacket right here. If I had that, I'd wear it to Acme because it'd be kind of cool at Acme. And uh, maybe a watch, a 50th anniversary watch. But it, it, they're well over 50 years now. Also, it had this, the blue printer. Oh, there's a fly flying around here. Get a taste of the blue printer with this 96 GMC Sonoma. I had some stuff in there. Bi monthly full color magazine for kit and die cast builders and collectors who want to be informed of the latest product releases and industry trends. Complete, uh, compete in builders contest or simply enjoy a good read. The blue printer is a must. Never had it. Any of you guys ever have a blue printer? That's that. But yeah, popcorn wagon. I think it's a. Uh, is it a Tom Daniel? There's not a lot of information on this thing about uh, who done it. Oh, that's cheesy looking. That is awful. That is absolutely hideous. Yep. That that's another one of the. Uh, hey guys, we need a we need box art by the morning. Everybody's already going home, sir. What about her? Oh, she's just a secretary, sir. Well, tell her to take it home and build it. Okay, sir. And that's kind of what they end up with. Is, but anyway, she did pretty good. I'm not going to not gonna say she didn't do a pretty good job. Looks okay. But except the gold is just hideous. And that looks amazing. But when you go from this to that, that looks like a little toy that you would get at the family dollar. That looks like an amazing show rod. That looks like a $3 toy. So we'd have to do something about that. We couldn't have it looking that way. And some other parts in here I didn't. There's your, uh, there's your chassis. Just very basic. Here is the uh, Mega Intake. This is some big stuff because it's 120th scale. Very nice. I like that bigger, si bigger size. There's your carburetor, your intake for your carburetors, blower intake. And uh, yeah. Just some other parts. There's a floor floorboard with nice wood grain, beautiful wood grain. Look at that. Isn't that neat? And the uh, wood grain uh, firewall, I suppose, or something like that. And then two little pieces right here that I, I ain't got a clue what they are, but they're really small. About the smallest thing on this whole kit. All right. Well, I'm sorry. And there's some windows. So there's there's all the glass right here. Okay, well, there's no front windshield. It would just be all the glass for the body. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching me fumble my way through. You, you missed it, though. It was like when I, I, I did I did mention when I started the first video. I was like, I've had this kit for quite a while now, quite some time, and it's been sealed. Um, unfortunately, that's all gone. That's lost. But it was a sealed kit and, and when I got this kit I was in the mindset of it's pretty valuable, at least it, it potentially could be very, pretty valuable. I won't open it because you know sometimes you'd see these for upwards of a hundred dollars. I got this uh, this one off eBay and I didn't pay that much, but probably probably still close to fifty dollars. And then I had a second one. I have a second one that is right behind me in that stash that's under that cabinet. And it's in one of the value packs, an AMT value pack. It's one of the ones that would have like four kits in it. Now that one is sealed. I got that from like Goodwill for dirt cheap. And uh, I, Heather texted me, are you recording? Yes, I'm recording, but I'll text you in a minute. Um, but anyway, I got that one. And I'm going to leave those value packs sealed because I think that's something that a lot of people have never seen them. I'd never seen them until that one. And it's also got a popcorn wagon in it, which is just only going to go up in value. 
plus other cool three other cool kits but anyway i do have two of these so uh yeah i'm glad i'm over the fear of opening up a kit because you know what fun is it really i know i wanted to be this mega collector but having them up here and just wondering what's inside the box i know what's in the box obviously but just wondering what the parts look like or whatever not knowing that it you know that it didn't have rubber tires and stuff like that um yeah i'm glad i'm over that fear and phobia and you guys have helped me through that a lot of you guys um charlie mack would always don't hoard it build it or or no he would always say are you going to hoard it or are you going to build it well i'm still going to hoard it but i mean it might get built eventually but at least i can open the box now without a fear of i don't know it's never going to be new again if you do that matthew doesn't really matter to be honest with you but let me tell you what that's a creepy looking clown there's a speaking of phobias people have a phobia of clowns look at this guy now he's either that's a ufo in the background beaming somebody up and he's just looking up into the sky or he's balancing a plate on a pole one of the two what do you think i mean it, the, the way it could be a ufo teleporting somebody up into it or it could be him balancing that on his nose i don't know but he's pretty creepy looking to say the least but anyway guys hope you enjoyed this and uh let me know if you've ever built a popcorn wagon um and i mentioned this in my first part but i let me do it again my friend kim's kim my friend kim's my friend kim over at kim's custom garage loves show rods and i think he's got a popcorn wagon i don't know if he's ever built it or not but anyway if you guys if you guys have built a popcorn wagon let me know how did it turn out did you have to replate all your gold or to just throw it on there where it looks like it's been in some kind of fire where it's uh stained but they they didn't they didn't have the mixture compound down on the uh gold anodizing or whatever this is supposed to be but anyway still cool all right guys take care don't forget to check out hobbynutmodels.com for all your paint uh glue sanding sticks airplanes tanks armored vehicles and of course, model automobiles. Go over there and check out Mark's inventory linked in the description of this and every video. Click on this link that's in the video and if you buy something, I get a little credit. If you don't click on the link, I might not get credit. But anyway, still go to hobbynutmodels.com and check out what Mark's got. Pick yourself up something. Also the Facebook group, thanks for your support over there and all your contributions. Spring Store, grab yourself a great model car t-shirt or model car videos t-shirt or a sticker or coffee mug or something like that and uh my patreon members guys thank you so much for supporting me and especially to the ones watching these videos please give it a thumbs up you're valuable to me because you watch me fumble my way through all of this stuff so anyway guys you take care and we'll see you on the next one popcorn wagon i want some popcorn can't you smell it Mm. All right, guys. Take care.